Hello EFBC, I wanted to come again with a weekly update and I want to start off by just reading a passage of scripture. Uh, this is a passage that God put on my heart this morning during my quiet time and I want to share it with you. And it comes from Psalms 9, verse 9 and verse 10. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. And so just a word of encouragement, beloved, that uh, God is faithful. Twice in that passage of Scripture, the psalmist reminds us that God is a stronghold. He says the Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed. And the Lord is a stronghold in times of trouble. And He never forsakes those who, who, who seek Him. I know it's easy during this time to uh, perhaps doubt or to struggle with you know, even anxiety or perhaps even depression. Well, let me just encourage you just to keep trusting in the Lord. And one of the best things that you can do during this time is make sure that you're getting in God's Word. I would even encourage you to go so far as to look at God's Word apart from your cell phone. In other words, don't use your cell phone as your Bible. There's just a temptation that comes along with that. Set your phone aside, pick up your Bible, and read from God's Word on a daily basis, and you will find great encouragement uh, from God's Word. Let me also encourage you, don't get stuck in the rut of just being isolated and watching TV all the time or looking at social media all the time or Instagram and just flipping through your phone. Uh, that, can, that can actually become depressing in nature if you just look at all the media that's going on and, and it's really not good for your soul. Uh, let, me, let me just encourage you to set Set those type things aside. I'm not saying you can't watch TV, or core, of course, or look at those things, but don't allow those things to consume your time. Make sure you're praying and you're spending time in God's Word. Go online and listen to some great sermons from some great pastors and allow them to speak into your life and, and to encourage your soul. One of the things that I love to do is I love to journal. And so I'm journaling my prayers. I'm actually journaling what's going on in the world today so that I'll have something to remind me of in, in years gone by. So let me encourage you to, to practice some of the spiritual disciplines during this time that perhaps maybe you've been unfaithful in. Don't get caught up in the trap of just doing worldly things. Make this a priority in your life while you're isolated, isolated while we're practicing social distancing, Use this as an opportunity to cultivate your walk with God. And God will be there to encourage you and, and He'll be there to bless you. I promise. God's doing it in my life every day. God gave me this word this morning and I was able to share it with you. And you're going to be able to do the same if you're in God's word. I just want to you know, just share with you that I'm going to be doing weekly updates on Tuesday uh, morning, so make sure that uh, you're paying attention. It may not come out Tuesday morning, but I'm going to be videoing Tuesday morning. So be looking for those weekly updates. Also wanted to say that even though our campus is closed, we are going to have pastors here Monday through uh, Thursday. At least one to two pastors on campus. We'll also have a receptionist uh, in our front office. Now the doors to the campus will be closed. But if you have a need or if you need to drop off your offering or whatever else it may be, you can come to the church office doors, you can ring yourself, and we will have somebody there at that desk, that reception desk, uh, to let you in. So we wanted to make you aware of that as well. So again, I told you I was going to play this week by week. Uh, our campus will, will be closed down once again this week. All of our services will remain the same, and we will be doing everything through live stream and Facebook. I've learned how to use Zoom, and so I would encourage you, if you know how to use Zoom or if you have Zoom, stay connected to your connection groups using that uh, piece of uh, technology. Also, as it relates to our hospital visits, of course, many of the hospitals are not allowing people in. Uh, many of them are discouraging people from coming. And so we've decided as a pastoral team to make all of our uh, hospital visits through telephone. So we're going to be calling people and checking on people and praying with people. As a matter of fact, I've already had an opportunity to pray with people this morning. Now, we don't want you to be addicted to your social media, but we do want you to monitor your social, social media. Facebook, also uh, our webpage, because we're going to be putting out information and we want to make sure that you stay connected to the church. So make sure you're monitoring the church's Facebook page and also the church's webpage. We're also going to be sending out mass text 
And if you would like to receive those texts, you can uh, text EFBC to the number 22383. Again, if you would like to receive those texts, you can text EFBC at 22383. Let me encourage you, uh, you can still get out, go to the park, walk, practice social distancing, but, but don't just stay in your home all the time. Uh, I'm gonna be taking my boys here out in just a little bit and we're gonna go ride our mountain bikes out in the woods and, and I would encourage you to find creative things. Yes, yeah, social distance. Yes, watch, protect yourself, uh, but make sure that you're taking care of yourself as well, not just spiritually, uh, but there's good. There's good that comes from getting out in the sun and making sure that you're getting enough sleep during this time because that will also strengthen uh, your, your immune system. All right? God bless you. I love you as your pastor. Until I see you next week, let's keep praying.